<clears throat> All right, last problem and acceleration problem. Crank AB rotates with a constant angular velocity of six radians per second. Let's think about that for a second. Crank AB rotates with a constant, well, maybe we'll come back to that. Constant angular velocity of six radians per second, uh, giving bar BC an angular velocity of 6.24 radians per second at this instant. Um, <clears throat> for my, the usual way I give tests in class, we're giving this in class, then I am going to give you this uh, right here so that um, this problem, I'm just, I'm just um, testing you on the acceleration part of this problem. Uh, but see if you could calculate that. So double check me if, make sure I'm right, that you would get the angular velocity of 6.24. You could get that using the um, relative velocity method or the instantaneous center of zero velocity method. All right. I want to find the angular acceleration of bar BC. Angular acceleration of bar BC. Okay, so what, what's my main bar? What's my main bar? What's the bar that I'm going to do the relative velocity equation on? Uh, bar BC, right? And I'm going to say uh, AC equals AB plus AC slash B. Um, and this, immediately rewrite this as alpha cross R minus omega squared R. C slash B. C slash B. All right, now, uh, so this is C, then B, C slash B, C slash B. So I've got to be very careful uh, and do this as C slash B. Uh, C slash B is from B to C. Now, I don't know if I mentioned very much, but that one is not really C slash B or B slash C. I don't care if you write that as alpha CB or alpha BC because uh, it's, it's just the alpha of the bar. Um, it's not like an ang it's not a relative term. It's just the alpha of bar BC. How do you want to define alpha of bar BC? E either alpha BC or alpha CB. Uh, so these two subscripts are not as important. This one, the C slash B, is important. C slash B is from B to C. All right. If we hadn't been given the 6.24, we, we're going to plug that in right there. Uh, we need to find that before we get here. All right. Okay, so now, do I know anything about the acceleration of point C? Hey, it is linear. It is linear, but B is normal tangential, uh, right? C is linear, and it is just acceleration right here at this 60-degree angle. But B is normal tangential, so let me not forget about A, B, um, a, B tangential, and A, B normal. A, B normal, A, B tangential. So A, B normal. <clears throat> I am looking at link A, B, right? Not bar B, C. It doesn't matter anything right here. I'm taking a side note, right? I'm going to come back to this equation, but before I come back to this equation, I'm taking a side note, <clears throat> And looking at link AB, and let me try to find all everything I can about the acceleration. Maybe I can't find the whole thing, but I can write it in terms of uh, anything I, I can. All right, so AB normal is R omega squared. It is 0.36 squared. It is 10.8, but it is at, at this angle, at this 30 degree angle right here. It is 10.8, 30 degrees from horizontal. AB normal is 10.8. Let me look at this. Cosine 30 in the negative I and down 10.8 sine 30 in that J. So let me go ahead and give you some numbers. Negative 9.353 in the I and 5.4 in the J. Okay. Now, AB uh, tangential is R alpha. Uh, did it tell me an alpha, A, B? Uh, no, it didn't say, hey, alpha is 2. Uh, sometimes you just need to leave this as 0.3 alpha and break it up into its direction. This is not what we're going to do, so maybe don't write this, but if it had some alpha, what direction would it be? Uh, it would be 30 degrees from vertical. And so I, I'd kind of switch these. I would have the sine 30 in the I, the cosine 30 in the J. Okay, but, 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 did you see this? So sometimes I might 
throw this in there to help you out here to shorten your problem. If it has a constant velocity, then the angular velocity is zero. Th then this is zero right here. So I actually tried to kind of shorten your problem here for you and say, okay, that tangential acceleration, it would have been in this direction, 30 degrees from vertical, uh, but <clears throat> it is zero. So that is all I need to plug in right there for AB. All right, so let's look at here, <clears throat> AC. Uh, I don't know it, but I know it is, let's see, at the 60 degree angle, cosine 60 in the I, sine 60 in the J. Then the acceleration of B, it has normal and tangential, or it could have normal and tangential, negative 9.353 minus 5.4, and I was just lucky there was no tangential because a constant vo angular velocity means zero acceleration. Plus alpha, I don't know it, but I know it's in the K direction, cross with R from B to C, from B to C, easy, easy, 0.5i. Uh, minus omega squared, 6.24 squared, times 0.5i. Times 0.5i. Okay. And so let's see. Let's look at that. And one equation. Or sorry. I mean, it's it looks like one equation is really two equations, two unknowns. Right? That's fine. My i equation and my j equation. My i equation, ac cosine 60, uh, negative 9.353. And <clears throat> let's see, is this going to show up in my I equation? No, because it's a cross part. It's going to cross the K and the I cross to get a J. Is this going to show up in my I equation? Yes. Is this going to show up in my I equation? Yes. Um, and that number is negative 19.4688. There we go. So I can get AC is negative 57.64 meters per second squared. And then my J equation, AC sine 60 equals negative 5.4. All right, now this one, yes, is 0.5 alpha C. Be going to show up in my J equation. Uh, positive J or negative J? K cross I is positive J, and there are no, no negatives anywhere to be found. So there's my equation. I'm going to plug in negative 57 because this came from back when I thought it was going up. It, it's actually going down. So plug that negative 57, uh, yeah, negative 57 right just there, times sine 60, solve for alpha, alpha CB negative 89.04 radians per second squared. What does that negative mean? That negative means I chose incorrectly, um, and so this acceleration is, I, th I thought it was in the positive K, I thought it was counterclockwise, but it is actually Clockwise, 89.04 radians per second squared clockwise. All right, and the acceleration of C, did it ask for that? Magnitude of the acceleration of block C, uh, 57.64 meters per second squared is the acceleration for block C. So let's take a step back and look, look back at this problem. This is a good problem, good problem. Okay. <clears throat> My main bar was bar BC, so I, I did the, my, my relative acceleration equation for bar BC. AC equals AB plus AC slash B. That AC slash B is not just alpha cross R, it's alpha cross R and minus omega squared R. Uh, make sure that R is the correct, you B slash C, I'm oh, sorry, C slash B, uh, the way that I wrote that. And then I took a, took a little note, hey, point C is linear, awesome. Point B, uh, not so linear. Point B is in a circular path. Why? Because it was connected to this link AB. Uh, not because of BC or anything like that. Because <clears throat> that um, link AB constrains point B, makes it go in a circular path. So then I, I need to not forget about normal and tangential for B. So I like to take a side note, come look at this link, Go ahead and find normal, go ahead and find tangential. This one, we're lucky, I guess, if you notice that this had a constant angular velocity. It didn't have any tangential, but it'll always have some normal because it, it's always got some velocity, right? Either V squared over R or, more, more likely, the R omega squared. 
but you got to be able to write in I and J. In this one, we weren't lucky enough that it was all in I or all in J. Uh, this one was into the curve, right? Normal acceleration is into the curve at that 30 degree angle. Then I plugged it back in. I didn't know AC, but I knew its direction, so I went ahead and put cosine 60 and sine 60, uh, and then filled out the rest of it. Two unknowns, which is probably a good sign. <clears throat> and so then I can solve for those um, solve for those unknowns. When it, your answer comes out negative, that just means you guessed incorrectly. I guessed incorrectly a couple places here. I guessed that the acceleration was up that incline. It came out negative. It's actually down the incline, 57.64. I guessed, and I would always guess that your angular information is in the positive K. It came out negative, so it's in the negative K. So it would be clockwise. All right? Not too bad.